to read a devotion over you today as you come into child's pose. So come on in, bring your toes to touch, open up the knees, sit back, and then either reach the arms forward for an extended child's pose, or bring your arms alongside of you, palms up. And you can bring your forehead to touch, you can place a blanket or a towel under your chest if that's not working, or maybe between the calves and the hamstrings as you sit back. So make this as comfortable for yourself as possible. Go ahead, sink in, and then just start coming into your breath. Just noticing it at first without making any changes. Just breathe normally and naturally and see what's showing up for the body today. As you take a few breaths like that and start to come in a little bit deeper, I want you to focus more on a more rhythmic breath. So inhaling from the belly, allowing the breath to fill up the chest, expand through the back, and then exhale slowly through the nose emptying out the chest and then out the belly. Go ahead and sink into this rhythmic breath as I read to you from the Passion Translation, Luke 8, 24 and 25. The disciples woke Jesus up and said, Master, Master, we're sinking. Don't you care that we're going to drown? With great authority, Jesus rebuked the howling wind and surging waves, and instantly they stopped and became as smooth as glass. Then Jesus said to them, Why are you fearful? Have you lost your faith in me? Fear is not your friend, so stop agreeing with it. Stop listening to every lie that the enemy throws at you as if you don't have the power to resist it. Decline the invitation to cower in fear while rehearsing the outcome he has envisioned for you. Declare my truth. Take up my shield of faith. It will quench the fiery darts of hell. Stand and be courageous. You are powerful filled with the same spirit that raised my son from the grave. Trust the power of my love within you. Dig your faith into the throat of fear and tear it away from your soul. Thrust it before my presence and trust me to be who I say I am. Fear and trust cannot coexist. All that I do, I do through your faith. You do not have to figure this out. Don't allow the enemy to trick you into thinking that obsessing over this will change it. It will not. Simply release this into my hands and close the door to fear. I am here with you. Release the fear to me. Thank you, Lord, that you are always with us, that you never leave us and forsake us, and that you are for us. So who can stand against us? We just commit this day to you, Lord God. We ask that you would give us your eyes to see all of the hope and joy that you have for us, Lord. From your child's pose, press your hands into the mat and lift up on all fours, lean your chest forward, extend the legs, and then just pull up through the belly, bring the shoulders back into a strong up dog with the knees down. And then we'll press back into a child's pose. Let's take this with our breath a few times. Press into your hands, bring your chest up, Little micro bend in the elbows, shoulders back, hip flexors extend, and then exhale, sink back into child's pose. Inhale, let's lift up. Exhale, sink back. Two more times with the breath, really feel the movement in the back and into the hips. Last one here. And 
we'll sink back into child's pose. Take the hips side to side. Maybe make the forehead meet the mat and then massage that side to side as well. Let's come all the way up and then bring that right leg forward. And you can bend this left leg behind you in like a little deer sit. And we're gonna stretch over to the right. So walk your hands as far over to the right as you can. We're gonna bend the elbows and then bring our chest down toward our right knee. Long stretch, feel it from your left shoulder all the way down to your left hip. Soften through the right shoulder and breathe. Inhale, lift up. Let's walk over to the left and then sink down as much as you can. Press that right hip down and breathe. Inhale, lift up, and we'll take this left leg and bring it across. This right hand is gonna go back behind us, and then the left arm is gonna go up, up, and circle it around. Inhale, lift up, and circle it around. One more time. And then this time we're taking the hand behind the ear, and then opening up the chest. Really keep pressing through your right hand as you open the chest and look over to the left. Excellent. And let's switch. Bring that left shin forward. Take that right leg back into this nice, nice deer sit. And we're gonna stretch over to the left with our arms, sink down through the hips, through that right hip, bend the elbows, and breathe. Inhale, lift up, and we'll take it to the other side. Inhale, lift. Take your left hand behind your left hip. Right arm comes up, and we'll circle it around a couple of times. Circle in the other direction. Bring that hand behind your head, open up the elbow, and then look up towards that right elbow, open your heart. Let's make our way back to center, plant our hands, and we'll come up onto all fours, stacking our joints, turning the elbows back, and then moving the chest forward, that left leg's gonna go back press through the toes, and then rock side to side. Lift up that left foot, push through the heel, and then bring it over to your left elbow tap. Inhale, press through the heel, exhale, tap. Inhale, press, exhale, tap. One more. And then we'll release. That right leg goes back, rock it forward and back. Pick up that right foot, push through the heel, inhale, exhale, tap. Inhale, press, exhale, tap. Inhale, press, exhale, tap. And then we'll bring it back. We're gonna tuck our toes under, take your hands slightly in front of the shoulders and then lift up the hips and press back. Bending the knees is perfectly fine here. Press through the fingers, especially the index and the thumb. Drop the head between the biceps, lift up the low ribs. Let's bend our right knee a lot and push through our left heel. Even if you have to bend that left heel, see if you can straighten as much as you can. And then we'll switch, bend that left knee a lot and push down through that right heel as much as you can, long stretch. And we'll rise high up on the toes, exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, lift up, exhale, press down, inhale, lift up, 
We're going to tiptoe to the top of our mats. Come to the top of your mat, place your hands on your shins, pull the shoulders back, crown of the head reaches forward, and then exhale, forward fold. Feel free to bend the knees a little or a lot. Hands can go anywhere on your body, or maybe they just rest on the shins. Maybe they grab each other. Feel free to open up the feet wider if you need. Inhale, come to that flat back, long torso. Exhale, forward fold and rock. Maybe nod the head yes, yes, and no, no. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold one last time. We'll push through the feet, soft toes come all the way up, big inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart, and then down by your sides. So one of my good friends taught me this, and it reminds me of the cross, because as we lift up our arms and reach straight up, we are a direct connection to God. So he is able to pour his love and his light into us, and then as we open our arms out wide, we are the extension of that love and light to the world. Isn't that beautiful? So let's inhale, lift up and reach toward the Lord, pulling down from his true line. And as we exhale, open the arms wide and give that love to the world. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, they open wide. Inhale up. Exhale, open wide. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, open wide. Give that love and faith and hope out to the world. Let's take a forward fold as we exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your right leg back and then your left leg back. And you'll either drop to the knees or you'll stay on your toes. Inhale, press the chest forward. Shoulders roll back. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take the chest up. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes under. Let's press up to all fours. And then up and back into a down dog. Feel free to shift the feet forward. Walk them as close to your hands as feels appropriate for you. Your hands and feet should be about hip distance apart. But if you need more space, go ahead and do that. Let's rise high up on our heel, on our toes, on an inhale, and then walk up to the top of our mat as we exhale. Inhale to that flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, little side stretch this time over to the right. We lengthen the left side of the body. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left as we reach the right arm across. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, step the legs back, drop to the knees or stay on the toes, press the chest forward, bend the elbows and lower down. Up dogs and inhale as we lift the kneecaps, down dogs and exhale as we lift the hips. Take a few breaths here. If you need a child's pose, just drop the knees down and sink back into the hips. If you are in down dog, think about rotating the upper arm bones out, expanding through the chest. Left to right, your chest is expanding as you look back towards your belly button. On an inhale, let's take our right leg up. Bend the knee and then open the hip by dropping the right heel toward the left glute. Keep pressing through both hands and really drop this right shoulder more. So if you'd like, you can come up high on your left toes to help you. And then we'll circle here, right knee towards left inner thigh. And we'll circle both ways. 
Then we'll come back to that three leg down dog as that right leg presses back, inhale. Exhale, knee toward the chest. Move your chest forward. Step your right foot through and then drop your left knee. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up with the arms. Exhale, drop that left arm towards your left thigh and reach the right arm up and back. Pull the ribs toward the spine. And then we'll switch back Sitting back, taking that right arm toward the left heel, and then maybe taking the left arm back. You can even straighten that right leg if that feels okay for you. And we'll make our way back to center, hip points lift up. Drop your left hand down, and we'll take our right arm up. Push through the left hand as you reach up through the right, Keep that left knee down or lift it up if you want a little bit more stretch in the hip flexors. And then we'll take our right hand behind our head, open up and twist a little bit more as we squeeze the legs toward each other. Both hands come down. We'll take a vinyasa here or you'll take a child's pose. You're taking the vinyasa, you're following me, coming into a full or modified plank Bending the elbows as you exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> and inhale, let's lift that left leg up. Bend the knee. And then let that left heel hang over your right glute. Drop this left shoulder. You can get high on your right foot if you want. And we'll start to circle. Left knee toward right inner thigh. Circle in both directions. Three leg dog. Inhale, press through the heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull forward. Step the left foot through. And then drop the right knee. Come on up with your hip points lifting up. So these are your hip points. You want them to lift up. Think about energetically left foot, right knee, drawing toward each other, but they're not moving. That's going to really keep the legs solid. That right arm's going to go back toward the right thigh. Pull the low ribs in and then maybe lean back, squeezing the legs together. Back up to center. Inhale. And then let's switch. Take that left arm back, maybe just to the hip, maybe to the heel. As we bring our right arm up, maybe we can straighten the left leg, yeah? Maybe. And we'll come slowly back to center. Bend that left knee. Right arm's going inside the left foot. Left arm's going up. That same engagement through the inner thighs. Squeeze them toward each other. And if you want, pick up that right knee. Push and pull through the right hand. Lift up through the left. The right inner thigh lifts up. Both hands to the mat. Take your vinyasa or step back into child's pose or just a down dog. <sighs> Couple breaths here, whether you're in child's pose or down dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up, bend your knee, bring it toward your chest, step the right foot through, and then pivot and turn that back foot. So really commit to that back foot. Roll to the outer edge of that left foot. Light inner arch. And then we'll keep that right knee bent as we come up into our warrior B. Arms reaching equally away from the body. So we track the right knee toward the right pinky toe. Flip your right palm. Inhale up and back. Reverse your warrior. Inhale, reach forward. Find your extended side angle. Elbow and knee are stacked. Hips move forward. 
shoulders move back, left arm comes up or across. Straighten your right leg, come on up, reverse triangle. Right arm reaches up, maybe you wrap the left arm behind you. Maybe you take your right hand to your right ear as you open up the elbow, finding more of a stretch through the chest and that right side body. We'll bend the right knee, look forward, pick up that back heel, Either drag the left foot up or step it up. And you can bring it up toward your chest. Or maybe you use your hands to hold the knee up. We'll take a little twist. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. Left hand starts on the hip. Maybe it extends out. Maybe you want to catch the big toe of that left foot with the right hand and extend the leg out. Come back to center, left foot comes down, big inhale, reach up, exhale, hands to heart, and then down by your side, mountain pose. Let's take two breaths here, see if we can soften the toes and the face, let the arms be heavy as they dangle down your sides. Use your opportunity for another vinyasa, or you can simply step back in down dog. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, fold, step back, either into down dog or child's pose, or chaturanga, lower down halfway, or all the way, inhales in up dog or cobra. Exhale into down dog, hips high. Let's take two more breaths, whether you are in child's pose or holding down dog with me. Take two more nice, long breaths. If you're in that child's pose, come on up and join me. And we'll inhale, take that left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it toward the chest. Look forward, step the left foot through, and then pivot and turn that back foot. So before you even come up, you really want to get solid in that back foot. You might shorten your stance or you might bring that right foot out to the right. Commit to this bend in the left knee, engage through the inner thighs, and then use your core to come up. Reach the arms away from the body, easing over your left hand. Really press through the back foot, lift your left palm, and then inhale, lift up to your reverse warrior, Arm can be wrapped or it can just rest on the leg. And we'll reach forward as we inhale, finding extended side angle, shoulder and elbow stacked, chest and hips move forward, shoulders move back, right arm can come up or across. And we'll straighten the left leg, come up into our reverse triangle. Again, either wrapping this right arm or just letting it rest. Reach up, 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 and back. And you can put your hand on your head. Open your elbow more. Open up that left side of the body up. One more full breath. And we'll release. Bend this left knee, look forward. Pick up that back heel, either drag that right foot or step it up. Lifting the right foot as you bend the knee, push down through your left foot. You can use your hands to hold this knee up. So you could be just an inch off the mat, that's fine. You're still working your balance for your body, right? So press down through that standing foot, lengthen through the torso, no matter how high this right leg is. Left hand comes to the outside of your right knee, right hand on your hip, or maybe the right arm goes out. Maybe you catch your big toe with the left hand and then find an extension. 
Come back to center very mindfully and then place that right foot down. <sighs> Big exhale here. Two breaths in mountain. See if you can soften the toes and the face. Let the arms be heavy along your side. All right, no overgoing. You're either taking a vinyasa or you're stepping back into a child's pose or a down dog. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, either step back into a child's pose or into a down dog or you're coming with me and moving through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths, whether you are resting in child's pose or holding down dog. If you're not in down dog, come on up and join me. So inhale, take that right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Step the right foot through and then drop the left knee. We're going to take and turn that left leg and notice our shoulder. Left shoulder is slightly behind the left wrist. This right leg can stay here as we take the right arm up in this first version of a modified side plank. You can take the leg out here into another version of side plank, maybe here. If you are here, you're just going to continue into this exalted lizard. If you are here, you're going to step your right foot back and then take a baby wild thing as you reach your right arm toward the top of your mat. And then both hands will come down. Take a vinyasa here or simply press back into child's pose. Two breaths, and then we'll meet back in down dog if you're not already there. All right, my friends, inhale, left leg, bring it up. Exhale, knee to chest, move forward. Step the left foot through and then drop your right knee. So the first option, we're all turning our right knee, and then we're gonna walk the left foot out a little bit and take the left arm up, noticing again the right shoulder slightly behind the right wrist. Second option, leg extends or lifts. If you are in this first option, you're just gonna exalt your lizard, walk the left foot out a little bit more, and really open the chest, take the left arm out and back. If you are here, you're gonna lift the left leg up, bend the knee, and then bring it back behind you, reach that left arm toward the top of your mat in this wild thing variation. This is the wild thing variation you should be doing if your shoulders cannot hold the weight of your body here. So you are in charge and you should know what is appropriate for you. We'll take one last vinyasa or those of you that are not taking the vinyasa, you are in down dog or child's pose. If you're down dog with me, you're going to sit forward. If you are in child's pose, you're just going to simply come up and then bring your legs forward. How are y'all doing? Thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys leaving me comments because it helps me to know that I am not just teaching to a camera. All right, let's extend our right leg and then flex the foot. And we're gonna bend the left knee and take our right arm and wrap it around. Left hand behind us, press through this left hand and really lift. So we need to find space in our sacrum, okay? 
the spine sits down into the tailbone. And so in order to twist, we have to lift up out of that tailbone, find some space, and then twist. If you can get your elbow outside the knee, please do that safely so that you can get a little bit more twist, building those back muscles, the, um, toning your waistline, and then helping more with the digestion. Keep this right foot flexed. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. We'll make our way back to center and then drop this left foot inside the right leg. Inhale, lift here. Exhale, simply drape over. Let's come up one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drape. Really lead with the chest. So it's a little bit of a twist over to the right as we lead and then we lower down, softening the shoulders, softening the face. Feel free to bend this right knee if that works for you. No forcing if your hands touch the foot, great. If not, just let them rest somewhere on your leg. Let's take three more full breaths here. Try to let go of struggle in these breaths. Really surrender to the sensations, letting the body go where it will. Inhale, come on up. This left hand is going back by the left hip. Right arm comes up. You might want to stop here. If you'd like, push through the right foot, lift the hips up, and then come back into that wild thing variation once again. And then lower the hips. We'll switch sides. Left leg extends and the foot flexes. So flexing of the foot really starts to lengthen the hamstrings. Even if you have to bend the knee, flex the foot. That really works the hamstrings to some degree. I'm going to take the left arm around the right knee, right hand behind you, lift up, up, out of the sacrum, and then twist over toward the right shoulder. If you like, the elbow can come outside the knee, really lift, inhale, exhale, twist. Keep that left foot extended and strong. Inhale, come back through center. Release that right foot inside the left leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, just drape. Inhale, lift. Really lengthen the torso. And with that lengthened torso, drape. Pull the low ribs in to make some more room. Let the arms fall where they may. Without any struggle, sink into whatever space is available to you. Three full breaths without struggle. Inhale, come on up. Right hand behind the right hip. Left arm comes up, stay here, or lift the hips up, push through the left foot, and then reach that left arm toward the top of your mat. We'll release the hips down, bend the knees, and let's come down onto our back for our back bends, our bridge. Arms alongside of you, palms go up. We're gonna take the feet hip distance apart, really push through the feet, Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, hips and arms come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift as high as you can. Arms go back. Exhale and lower. There should not be any pressure on your neck here. Stick with these rolling bridges or come to a holding bridge 
tucking the arms underneath, interlacing the fingers, pushing through the feet energetically, the thighs move toward each other, and stay lifted for three more breaths. Here with me, you'll lower down and take one more bridge like that. Unless you're doing the rolling bridges, then keep going. And release. Let's bring the knees in toward the chest. Make some circles as we rock side to side. Maybe opening and closing the legs. Just notice what feels good here, do that. We'll extend this left leg out and then draw the right knee a little bit closer. Think about bringing the knee toward the right armpit. So the shin's gonna come a little bit parallel. And if you can get your hand to your foot, great. If not, just keep it on your shin. So kind of like a half happy baby as you draw this right shin closer to you. If it feels better to bend the left knee, go ahead and do that or keep it extended. Do two more breaths here. If you'd like, you can take the leg up a little bit. I like to bend this knee if I'm going to straighten the leg. It just feels better. If you can't get the foot, maybe you just hold the knee and then straighten the leg. And release. Let's extend the right leg or keep it bent here on the mat. Draw the left knee in, uh, knee to the armpit. Make a few circles first. And then keep drawing that knee up toward the armpit. If you can get your hand to the foot, great. If not, just keep it on the shin. Take a few breaths here as you open the hips. And if you want to bend this right knee, go ahead. Maybe take your left hand to the outside of the left foot and straighten the leg. Maybe just hold the leg behind the thigh and straighten. One more breath. And we'll release. Hands behind the thighs. Take the legs up. Supported shoulder stand. This is always a nice place to hang out for a while. And because you're in the comfort of your own home, Feel free to stay here as long as you like. Maybe you even put your legs up against the wall and hang out here for a while. Point and flex the toes. If you're up against the wall, you can always bend the knees and place the feet against the wall. That'll get you more of a hip stretch. You can always place the left foot against the wall and get a figure four on the right side and then switch. Lots of options if you have a wall nearby. So if you're not hanging there in that supported shoulder stand or maybe a wall variation, we'll take a spinal twist. I always like to finish with a spinal twist. You can extend this right leg out, bend that left knee, draw it in, and then sweep it across. This left hand can stay on your hip, especially if the shoulder's coming up. So you want to put something under the shoulder, or maybe you don't want to make your twist as deep. Because the shoulder wants to stay down so that you can feel the twist here. If the shoulder comes up, you're no longer feeling it here. But if the shoulder stays down, you can feel more of a twist in the low back. And then gazing in the opposite direction gives your spine a little twist. The thoracic spine is going left, the lumbar spine is going right. It's nice and juicy. Take three more breaths here in this twist, whatever variation you're choosing. We'll come back to 
center, bring the knees in toward the chest, pick up the shoulders, nose to knees, and then release the shoulders, release the head, we'll release the left leg and take the right knee across. Remember, you decide how far it's going, keeping this right shoulder down, we'll gaze to the right, to twist to the left, five long breaths into this low back here. make our way back to center, knees to chest, and release. Let's find a comfortable spot for Shavasana, maybe walking the feet out, letting the knees knock, maybe extending the legs and allowing the toes to turn out, arms, palms up, taking a nice wide spacing so that you can release the shoulders and Feel the scapula softening, lift up the hips, and then lay them down. Think of your low belly pressing down toward the spine. Let the face soften, the tongue rest on the bottom of the jaw. Allow the head to sink in deeper. Feel the neck softening. Take a big inhale, sigh it out, exhale. Let go. Sink deeper. Feel heavier. Let go some more. Take another big inhale. Sigh out. Exhale. Rest deeply, my friends, knowing that God is in control of all things. He never sleeps. He knows your situation. He is for you. And he will never leave you. Stay here as long as it feels good to you, my friends. It's always my great honor to share my practice with you. I hope you shine so brightly that the whole world knows that your source, your true vine, your vertical beam of the cross is the Lord Jesus Christ as he pours that light and love into you. Open your arms wide, my friends, and share it with the world. I humbly bow to you.